Hello and welcome back to Fire Emblem Heroes. Today we'll be going through the... The World of Holy War paralogue. I didn't know exactly how they worded that, so I just wanted to check. So, without further delay, let's go and begin. Hang on, let's see their range real quick. Alright, well they don't reach there. Alright. Okay. Onward. Um I actually go and do that. Out with it. And then do that! So Sigurd's gonna attack the Black Knight. Sigurd's really, really tanky. Yeah. Of course. We're gonna attack this Axe Cavalier with Arvis, who is also from Genealogy of the Holy War. Nobody can kill. And, oh well. Let's have the Black Knight use Black Luna. Finish off Sigurd. Whose special is Miracle. Which supposedly makes sense to people who played the game. But we're gonna attack Arden who has a ring called Follow Up Ring, so. If he has so much health and is the one attacking, he will automatically fall up, regardless of speed. Orders. We're gonna move Minerva up here. Arvis is gonna die because I was stupid. And Minerva will almost also die. We're gonna have Minerva. Hopefully, kill this guy. I think before she does. Make peace with your gods. You heard her. Make peace with them. Yeah. And then Nephany can go and finish off Arden. Oops. He still died. All right. So that's it for the first map. Overall, not too bad. I could have done better, but oh well. I'm gonna do something real quick. Well, this might make her physically more frail. It will give her more speed to speed and attack to work with. All right, so let's hop back to that. Quite sure how this team is gonna work out, to be honest, but we'll keep going with it. Here I go. Now on to Ode to Ode's Swordman or Sword Woman. <laughs> Whoops. All right. Um. Yeah, it's speed. That's good. A little inconvenient. Um. Alright. I'm gonna do that. Just end our turn for now. 
kind of don't know why I did that because they're all gonna move in response to what I just did. What's your gambit? Onward. Alright, we're gonna attack the axe fighter with Black Knight, which is obvious. I think I'm gonna outfit him with Aether eventually, which eventually should be pretty soon, but as much as Black Wind is a pretty destructive move, it would also be nice to keep his survivability pretty high. Alright, we'll use Minerva to finish off this land fire barely. So I'm glad I actually swapped those out. Then I'll have Nephni. Oh, see, that was a big mistake. Now you're just gonna die. Sorry, Black Knight. There. Out with it. And just end our turn, because I can't really do much. I mean I could, but it means sacrificing units. Pitiful. Sheesh. You Yeah, you are going to die. And last but not least, found my blood. I'm really unsure how this map's gonna go, but we'll give it a shot. going to put Nephany back here Onward. and then have the Black Knight use Pivot so he's in range of Deidre who we should be able to kill relatively easily and if not Arbus should be able to but let's go ahead and end our turn because I'm waiting for them to move closer gonna end her turn. I can't really attack Sigurd. Alright. I can like that though. Alright, so we're gonna use Nephany's bonfire yeah. which gets replenished very quickly thanks to Wraith or Wrath. Not Wraith. Out with it. But we're gonna have Arvis finish off Sigurd. In canonical fashion. Spoilers. I haven't even played genealogy, but of the Holy War, but I do know that. Yes. And I'm just gonna end my turn. Somebody's gonna die. Who will it be? It's Nephany! Going dark. Sorry, Nephany.
Of course. Uh. Understood. Uh. Onward. Between everybody just sitting right in front of her, she can't really do anything. Well, I would say that was questionable, and it would be. She didn't just kill him, but she did, so. Out with it. We're gonna have Arvis soften her up a little. Because she can. Yes. And then last but not least, we'll have Minerva finish Tatooi off. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce her name, but... She's dead now. Doesn't matter. Alright, that's it for this parallel, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.